Hey what's up guys, in this short 3 video series I will be showing you how to create simple animal AI. In this video we will take a look on how to make them roam around to random locations, then in the next one we will make them run away if they get damaged or they see a player, and then in the last one I will show you how to make a very simple animation blueprint so that you can add idle, walking and running animations to your animals. So for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be using this animal variety pack that I have from Fab, I'm gonna leave a link in the description if I remember to do that, and the first thing we are gonna do is create the AI itself. So I'm gonna go into the content driver, right click and create a blueprint class, but unlike normally instead of an actor I want to use a character and I'm gonna call this BPD here. Then we can open this and since this is a character and not an actor we already have some presets here like the mesh which is empty right now, capsule component and especially character movement which we need for the AI to be moving around. So I'm gonna select the mesh and I first want to add that so that we have some visual representation. So under mesh we can select whatever mesh we want and I'm gonna be using this deer stack but you can use of course whatever mesh you want depending on the animal and as you can see by default this is gonna be kind of up in the air so we generally want to lower it to negative 90 and then we want to rotate it by 90 degrees as well so that its head is facing the blue arrow because that's basically the front of it. I'm gonna leave the animations empty because that's what we are gonna be doing in the last video and then we can go into the event graph and then in here we can start doing the roaming system. Now there is two ways to go about this and I'm gonna show you both and explain pros and cons of that but to begin with we are gonna get the event back in play which is here by default otherwise you can right click and search for it I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna get actor location from the return value and I'm gonna click on the promote to variable and I'm gonna call this spawn location and the promote variable basically just creates a variable of the same type and then it's gonna automatically set it and I'm gonna plug that into event begin play. Then I'm gonna get the delay so I'm gonna hold down D and left click. I'm gonna plug that into spawn location and then I'm gonna drag from the duration and I'm gonna promote this to variable as well and I'm gonna call this ROM interval min. Then we can delete these two events and we are gonna create custom event and I'm gonna call this go to random location. Then we can call this go to random location event right after the delay. So I'm gonna drag from complete and search for it. So first I'm gonna search for get AI controller. Drag from the controlled actor and search for self. Drag from the get AI controller and search for a move to location or actor. Then we can plug that into the event. And this is basically just what's gonna tell the AI to move somewhere. So we need the goal location, which is vector. And I'm gonna use a node called get a random reachable point in radius. Then we can plug the random location into the goal location. And what this node does is basically if you imagine like a dot, then that's gonna be the origin. And then we're gonna have a circle around it, which is the radius. And then basically the AI is gonna pick a random location within that circle to go to. So for the origin, we actually have two options. We can either get actor location and plug that into the origin or we can use that spawn location. So the difference here is that if we get the actor location then the origin is gonna be the actor itself. So the deer is basically gonna keep roaming around randomly all over your map once it spawns and it's just gonna keep going somewhere randomly and let's say it starts on one part of the island and it can easily end up at the end of it as well. To mitigate that we use the spawn location variable that we created at the start which is gonna get set on the begin play and this way if we use this that, then it's only gonna roam around the range that it's spawned in which is gonna allow you to create basically habitats for these animals but you have both options so you have to choose based on what you want your animals to do. For the range I'm just gonna drag it and I'm gonna promote it to variable and I'm gonna call it roam range. This way we can then reuse this blueprint for any animal and just set different variables without having to do anything with the code itself. Then from the move to location or actor, drag into delay and then we are gonna plug it on request fail and on move finished. Then for the duration of that delay we want a random float in a range and we are gonna plug it into duration and you can do just set duration if you want to. If you have like two or three animals at the same time that spawn at the same time, it's gonna look robotic because they are just gonna keep moving at the same time and it's gonna look super unnatural. So I have this room interval minimum that we created at the start. So I'm gonna plug that into the minimum and then I'm gonna create another variable and I'm gonna call this room interval max. 
And then we are going to plug that into the max from completed call this custom event again so i'm going to search for go to random location that's basically all we need to do so now if we compile this we can actually set these variables so we are going to let the spawn location be as is because that's going to be set at the event begin play then for the roam interval minimum i'm going to set this to like let's say five seconds but you're going to want something a lot longer otherwise the animals will just keep running around Then for the roam interval max i'm going to set this to like 10 seconds or something and keep in mind that this is going to only trigger either if if the request failed or after the moving is finished which means our AI has arrived to that location and then for the roam range you can set it to as big of a range you want from the spawn location or from the actor I'm gonna go with something like thousand but you can make it bigger you can make it smaller whatever you want just play around with it and then once we have all of that we can compile this save this we can go into the world and we can just throw some deers in and now when we go into play as you can see they are not moving because there's the first timer and now they start moving into random locations and they shouldn't move at the specific times as you can see some of them will move faster they also have really high move speed so you're probably gonna want to reduce that in general this should be enough for you to have roaming around npcs and like i said in the next one we are gonna make them flee from the players and then we are gonna add animations at the end of it for both of these functions so that's about it for this video i hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like and subscribe it helps out a lot and i'll see you in the next one bye